today we're going to talk about expansion tanks and water hammer arresters. They are similar but different. Let's get started. A thermal expansion tank is designed to eliminate the pressure buildup in your plumbing system. As water heats, it expands and the excess pressure is absorbed into the tank. This helps from premature T and P opening and closing. It helps all the pressure in your system, the wear and tear on your pipes. It's a safety device and it's also lessening the stress on your plumbing system. Expansion tanks come in a variety of different sizes, always doing the same job, balancing the pressure in the system, absorbing that excess pressure. 90% of the time in our business, we're selling the small two and a half and five gallon tanks for water heating. If somebody's looking for a very large expansion tank, the question is, what is the BTUs or the British thermal units of the job? And then we'll let the manufacturer size it according. So here's a fantastic fun fact that most people don't know about expansion tanks. The air pressure in the tank needs to match the pressure of the plumbing system. So if the water is coming into the home at 60 pounds of pressure, the pressure in the tank needs to be set at 60 PSI. This is what a cutaway of that looks like. And you can just adjust it just like the air on your tires. A great conversation to have with a plumber over the counter. All right, moving on to water hammer arresters. Now picture this, 25 feet of one inch copper tube will hold one gallon of water. One gallon of water equals eight pounds. On average, that's less than 10% of the plumbing system in a home. Imagine that water running at full speed through your house, 60 pounds of incoming pressure and all that volume Whenever you shut off a device, a faucet, a hose bib, the laundry, anything, you're shutting down all that momentum and creating tremendous amount of force on your plumbing system. That sudden stop in water will spike the pressure to five times the system rating, potentially damaging all kinds of things in the home. That being said, a water hammer rester is designed to absorb the shock and again, lessen the stress on the plumbing system. Now that you understand what a water hammer arrestor does, when somebody comes in and says, hey, grab me an arrestor, the questions you need to know, what sort of connection method and what size. It's very basic. The principles of the device don't change. It's just about what are they adapting to and what size is it? All right, let's talk water pressure absorption.